Russian is a completely, she uses the phrase volumetric, which I think is a good word to explain the tethered system. When, if you have parallax, you know, like there's, there's stereoscopic 360 and then the Oculus, the Vive, Sony, these systems give you the ability to either move a little bit if you're seated or actually get up and walk around in like a live room scale situation. For us, the Martian is really compelling because you have your hands and you can do stuff. But if you take that and bake it down to just a 360 video, a lot of what makes those parts so compelling is like watching a, kind of a boring video game because you're not the one doing it. And so for other content we're making now, recognizing that those really broad 360 distribution platforms do exist and that economically or from a sponsor standpoint, those windows want to get hit, we're trying to be thoughtful about having the tethered system with hands that is incredibly engaging, but also thinking through if we have to take the hands away and bake that down to a 360 video, is it still entertaining? Is it still funny? Is it still dramatic? Is it still something that fans of that particular artist or genre would um, consider interesting as a gateway? Mm -hmm. So that they see it and go, wow, that's really cool. And then someone goes, yeah, but have you done that? Have you done the one where you can actually move around? Like, kind of using it purposefully as that gateway. I think one of the things to add to that is presence. You hear the word presence a lot in um, virtual reality. And I think to really have that duality of presence so you know you're in this room, but when you've got a headset and you've got the earphones on, and it's only I've only experienced it in the fully immersive, mm -hmm. say the, the vibes, the Sony's, where you can walk around, you have a real duality of presence. You know that you're in this room, you know it. But then at the same time, everything else is telling you that you're somewhere else, whatever that experience is. I mean, I was saying a couple of us experienced this. There's a company called ATI that have done this great demo where you're in a nightclub and they use videogrammetry. So it looks like real people and they are, there's scans of real people. There's a guy DJing and there's people all around you dancing and you want to dance, right? You're there, you can hear the music, people are dancing, you really want to feel it. You've got two of your investors, a CEO and a couple of your key clients there. So, and it's really interesting because most people you do actually let go because you everything is telling you that you are in that experience, but you only fully get that in those immersive headsets. And I think that's really important to know. And whilst the tech is still quite new, that's going to change. So that is going to become more ubiquitous. You're not going to need those high-end computers in the not-too-distant future.